Julian Bond was uh, a legend. Uh, he was one of the uh, critical members of the civil rights movement in this country, passed away over the weekend. Now, uh, he had a quote that I want to share with you in a second, but first I want to give you background if you don't know who Julian Bond is. He was a co-founder of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee that was critical, absolutely critical in the civil rights movement. Uh, he served four terms in the Georgia House of Representatives after his work in civil rights. He served six terms in the Georgia Senate. Uh, and he was chairman of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, that's the NAACP. He was the first president of the Southern Poverty Law Center. He was a professor at universities including American, Drexel, Harvard, and the University of Virginia. He was a recipient of the National Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. So it doesn't get any bigger than chairman of the NAACP, uh, first president of Southern Poverty Law Center, critical to the civil rights movement. and. As he passed away, I thought, you know, it's amazing. I, I knew Julian Bond just a little bit, a lot, predominantly through Michael Shore, who's a big part of the Young Turks and knew him very well. And I had the pleasure of uh, meeting him, talking to him both on air, off air, having dinner with him. And what an unbelievable benefit that is. You see, these guys during the Civil Rights Movement changed the country. They changed history and they live among us. It's as if you could go and have dinner with one of the founding fathers. Isn't that amazing? But for not just African Americans in this country and not just for minorities, but for the whole country, they improved the country significantly for the better. They gave rights that they that people in this country were promised but never actually delivered on. And they got rid of Jim Crow. They got voting rights. They ended segregation. And and at one point Julian Bond had said, "We vanquished in the space of about 5 years a system that had been in place for almost 100 years." That's true and amazing. Think about that, man. The people who did that are alive today, a lot of them are. And and I was lucky to have met Julian Bond uh, when he was with us, we live among giants. Whether it's John Lewis who was beaten down in the Edmund Pettus Bridge, and, and you see pictures of that now on your screen, and whether it was Julian Bond, whether it was Jesse Jackson, it was uh, all of these heroes uh, of the movement. And look at the the things that they faced. The, those are the freedom writers, and they would. It would be whites and blacks who rode together, who would go to the deep south, and the KKK would be waiting for them in the middle of the night to beat them down, to hunt them down, and to sometimes lynch them, and to sometimes throw firebombs into their buses. That's what they faced. And in about five years, they did the impossible. They overturned all of that segregation that had lived for a hundred years after the Civil War, let alone for hundreds of years before the Civil War. They change the tide of history and they walk among us. I mean, if you know anybody from that era, and it doesn't have to be people like John Lewis or Julian Bond, it, it could be people that rode uh, on those buses. The Freedom Riders are still with us, so many of them, and they're probably in your city somewhere. You should find them, the people who had the courage to go sit at the diners in, in segregated areas and have hot coffee thrown in their face and have the KKK waiting for them in the dark when they left uh, those diners and those stores. Imagine the courage and look at the results. Now, is there a lot of work left to be done on racism and discrimination in this country? Of course there is. But did they do legendary work there? Absolutely. They expanded the circle of freedom and liberty. We owe them a great debt. And, but more important than that, go talk to them. They are treasure. And they're still here. Take advantage of that. Go find them. Find out how you really make history. And finally, it leaves me with great, great hope. Now, look, our cause here at the Young Turks and at Wolfpack is to get money out of politics because we think we've lost democracy entirely. Public opinion has no effect on public policy, no effect. We have to go get democracy. Now, luckily, we don't have to deal with firebombs being thrown into our buses. We don't have to deal with 
batons upside the head. We don't have to deal with the vicious violence they had to deal with. And they did it in about five years. Of course, the history of that movement was longer. But as a critical part of that movement says, all that change was catalyzed and took place in that critical five-year period. You tell me we can't do likewise and get our democracy back for all Americans? I think we can. I believe, and it's because of people like Julian Bond that I believe.